Welcome back everybody, droidlife.com. We're gonna whip through a tutorial today on how to use Metamorph. For those of you not familiar with Metamorph, it's essentially the custom theme application that works on your Motorola Droid. Um, you have to be rooted to use it. <clears throat> So for those of you not rooted, you could probably shut this off now if you want to. Um, but we're going to whip through this. Uh, I'm going to let you know right up front, though, that by no means am I a Metamorph Pro. I've used it. I understand, you know, how to install a custom theme, things like that. But if we run into issues or you run into issues, you should really go check out experts at all the many forums that are out there and guys that are really pros at this. But anyway, let's go right into it and just get started. Um, first thing I did was install Droid Mod Updater and I made sure that my phone was rooted with the Super User Ninja. Um, I also went ahead and installed Droid Mod 1.0 because it gave me SP recovery and it also created an Android backup for me just in case something goes wrong with messing around with a, with a Metamorph theme. Okay, so I, I know I have that backup there just in case something's wrong. So you might want to go ahead and install Droid Mod all the way. Um, the next thing you need to do is, you know, do a little bit of research. And what I mean by that is we need to go out and find actual themes that you want to install onto your phone. Okay, so when you install Metamorph, which is available in the market for free, um, it's going to drop this little file called Android Themes on there. Um, and what you're going to do is once you've found a theme that you want to download, it should be a zip file. And once you get that zip file, you're going to drop it into your SD card. So you can see in here, this little open box thing means it's a zip file. So I got high res, high res, pink, blue, smoked glass, X hero, X stock. Okay, so those are the zip, those are the zip files. I left them in zip, didn't extract them or anything like that. You can see there's some folders in there and I'll show you what that means in a second. Okay, so once you found that, then we can go ahead and load up Metamorph and get started. Once you know you've got root access, you got some you got some zip files in there of themes you want to install. Pull up Metamorph. Okay. First thing it's going to do is ask you if we can do some checks. So go ahead and hit start. And as long as you have no problems, it should let you write in. If it prompts you asking you to allow or deny, go ahead and check the box to remember and then hit allow so that you know you're allowing Metamorph to continue to use your system. Okay. Next thing we got down here are two options, pick theme or existing theme. So for first time users, you want to hit pick theme and that's where it's going to go into that Android themes folder and it's going to allow you to pick one of your zips. Okay. So let's say we want to do smoked glass theme first. Okay. If you hit that right away, it should start extracting all of the theme files. Okay. So this shouldn't take too long. Um, but just kind of let it roll and it's extracting all of those. It's basically what it's doing is extracting the folder that was on your in that zip folder and putting it on your SD card and then allowing you to install all the different pieces of the theme into your phone. So hope that kind of made sense. It'll make more sense in just a second once this thing finishes up. So um, just to let you know, I played with Metamorph a little bit here and there. I've had some success had some failures. Overall, I always got back to my phone working, so that's always a good thing, but I did have a scary moment where the phone shut off and would not turn back on at all. I couldn't even get to the Motorola symbol, and I had to pull battery, and somehow magically it turned back on. So just be aware that it is, you know, sort of a risky process, but one that you shouldn't have too many problems with. Okay, anyway, once you get done extracting all that, you'll see right here, it tells you, as my phone goes to sleep on us, tells you right here what theme you just chose and you extract it and it tells you made for version 2.0, 2.0.1. And if you had a 2.1 theme like ERE25 or something, you install that ROM on there, then you'd wanna make sure this said 2.1, okay? But we installed Droid Mod, which is just 2.0.1, so here we go. Um, what it did though is extracted all of these files in here, okay? So what it's saying is it wants to install a new alarm clock that is the smoked glass theme okay or it wants to install the browser that is or the desk clock or your email or your facebook or your 3d gallery your genie widget all this stuff what it wants to do is just change the look of these to smoked glass okay so one you want to do then is just select one and then you say apply it and that's basically it so you can go one by one and select everything you want to do or you can also just tell it to select the entire theme and change everything on your phone. So I'm just showing you what happens when you do one thing and then I'll show you in a second how you can do everything. Okay, so I just did the launcher. If I click home now, my launcher should look different and sure enough it does. It's the smoked glass launcher, okay? So like I said, you can do this with every single little thing. Oh, and it didn't like my beautiful widgets anymore. So we'll get rid of that. Anyways, we'll go back in here. So we'll go back into Metamorph. Should take us right back in here. Um, 
And so now we can just scroll through here and you can go in and pick, you know, whichever thing you really want to change. Um, the big one you might want to do would be the framework one down at the bottom. What that does is change all of this stuff up here, status bar, and makes that all the smoked glass theme or whatever theme you're going with, okay? So, <clears throat> usually there's a button down here that says apply all, and I'm not sure why there isn't for the smoked glass, but for most of the themes that I've found there are. So anyway, but I'm going to show you another one. And... I actually have an existing theme in here, which is this high res pink. And since our, you know, sort of theme color is high res pink, we might as well show you what, what our droid looks like in pink, okay? So anyways, if you go into existing theme, so let's say you've, you know, extracted a bunch of these in here, like I have four in there right now. It gives you this folder and we can go in and tap on that folder and what you're looking for is this file right here. Okay, it lists all the stuff out you, at you, just ignore it. What you want is this file right here with the Metamorph logo next to it. Choose that and that gets you back into this. So you can see high res pink for my droid 2.0.1 and it lets me start choosing all this stuff. Okay, so I'll just show you some of the cool things you can do. Like if I choose Facebook right now and apply, and we'll let that roll, and I'll just show you, this is you know one of the things that Metamorph can do, customize even something as simple as your Facebook, which is a completely separate app from you know the whole framework of your phone. Okay, so now if we go back home, and my Facebook's gone right there, so let's just go into it here. If I pull up Facebook, it's pink. See that now? The whole thing is themed in pink, okay? So let's go back into Metamorph, and let's do one other thing. Let's go ahead and do Framework, okay? If I do the Framework, just letting you know right now, if I click Apply, it applies the Framework. When this gets done, it's gonna ask me to reboot the whole phone. <clears throat> Okay, so just be aware that when you do framework stuff, it makes you reboot your phone, which is not that big a deal. <clears throat> I haven't had a problem with it coming back after doing this, so we'll let that load, and there you go. It's detected you've applied a theme or change requires a reboot. Do you wanna do that? Let's go ahead and say yes, and we'll reboot the phone, and we'll cut the, the video off for a second. All right, so we're loading our phone back up. We just installed the pink framework, and let's see what we've got. And as you can see, we are pink. Don't know if you can actually tell if that's pink or not, but that button right there is pink. And then we got black you know, notification bar with pink everything up there. So if we slide that across, you should be able to see that that is all pink now. And it's changed now. Um, you know, it shows a different battery and it also just has pink logos and all that stuff. So anyway, that's essentially Metamorph. It's, it's installing themes, making sure you get the zip file dropped onto um, onto your phone correctly, picking a theme, picking the options you want. With a lot of these, like I said, you can tell it to just do it right now. You can say, apply the whole thing. Like I'll show you if I go back in and go into my high res pink and I go into this high res pink file, right there it says apply all. So if I hit apply all, it will take over my entire phone and turn everything pink, which is, you know, cool, I guess, if you want a pink phone. But like I said, there's a theme for, you know, pretty much everything out there, blue, smoked glass, X Hero, all that stuff. So, you know, they're out there for you to play with. You gotta go find them. I will post a few on the blog, but this is essentially how you do Metamorph. So if you got comments, questions, you know, drop them at the site and I'll, you know, do my best at answering those. Um, but we're droidlife.com, check us out, peace.